Our goal is to look up the rate of climb. But we have two lookup values, an exact match lookup and an approximate match lookup. We need to go over to this large lookup table, find the correct row, and return the correct rate of climb. <laughs> For row number one, we're going to use climb speed to actually look up the table. Then we'll use the density altitude in the first column of the lookup table to pick out the rate of climb. In row number two, it's the number 74 that we'll use as a lookup to get the correct lookup table. Then the density altitude will be the lookup value. And then we can look up the rate of climb. Now, when looking up the correct lookup table, there's a few ways we could do this. The first way we're going to do this will work in any version of Excel. And it's using the offset function. Now, the offset function is used to create a dynamic range. And there's five arguments. The first argument, reference, requires a starting point. For us, it's going to be B4. And I'm going to hit the F4 key to lock that so it's locked as we copy our formula down. Now, the reason that B4 is our starting point for the reference argument is because offset needs to know from what position to jump down and get either the 78 lookup table, the 77 lookup table, and so on. Now, notice for the 78 lookup table, I need to jump down just one row to get the upper left corner of the lookup table. But for 77, I need to jump down six rows. So to accomplish that, we type a comma. And it's the rows argument that says how many rows up or down from that starting position we want to jump. Now, it's the number climb speed that determines either 1, 6, 9, or so on. So we use the lookup function match. We're going to look up whatever the climb speed is as a relative cell reference, comma, within this range right here, F4 to lock it, comma. And the trick is we want to do exact match, so I put a 0. And that tells match function to look this up and find the relative position of that item in the list. And because we're doing exact match, it only finds the first occurrence when there's duplicates. So number 1, 6, 9, and so on. So that determines the number of rows to move from the starting position, comma, columns argument. Well, we do not need to move to the left or the right for our starting position. So I leave that empty. I type a comma. The height? Well, the height for each climb speed lookup table is different. Five rows for the first, three rows for the second. So here I use the count ifs function. The criteria range, we highlight climb speed. F4 to lock it, comma, and I need to count climb speed for each row. Close parentheses. That's the variable height as I copy this formula down. The width is always two columns wide, so comma, two, close parentheses. And that offset function is our dynamic lookup table as I copy down. Now I simply put that inside of VLOOKUP. The lookup value is density altitude comma, the table. That's that offset. Come to the end, comma. We're always retrieving something from the second column. So I type a 2. And because the last argument default is approximate match, we leave that argument out. So I close parentheses. And that's our formula. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. Go to the last cell, hit F2. We're verifying that all of those cell references are correct. Now if we go to the second row, F2, and click very carefully inside VLOOKUP, click on Table Array Argument, and hit the F9 key to evaluate. Notice we get the first row, and then semicolon means the second row exactly as our 74 lookup table should be. Now I'm going to Control Z because I don't want to leave that hard coded in and Enter. Now bonus formula number one. Now the offset function is volatile because it has to recalculate often. In large workbooks with many formulas, this can slow down overall calculation time. So as an alternative, you can use the index function to create a dynamic range. Now I'm going to leave this formula in the downloadable workbook so you can check it out. If you want a reference video on how to create this, check that video out. Now the next three solutions depend on what version of Excel you have. If you have Office 365 Insider Edition, 
There is the amazing filter function, much easier than using offset or index. Now I need to look up the table. So I'm going to highlight all of the lookup tables together and hit the F4 key to lock it, comma. And now I say, what rows do I need to include? I simply highlight the entire climb speed column, F4 to lock it, and I ask the question, how many of you are equal to climb speed as a relative cell reference? Now when I close parentheses and hit the F9 key, it filtered all of the lookup tables to give us only the lookup table for 78. Control Z. Now we simply put that inside of VLOOKUP. The lookup value is density altitude as a relative cell reference, comma. That is an easy dynamic lookup table, comma, two close parentheses. And that formula, Control-Enter. Double click and send it down. Go to the last cell and hit F2. It's much easier with filter. If we go to the second row, F2, very carefully select dynamic lookup table in F9. There it is. That's the lookup table for climb speed 74. Now I'm going to use the escape key to revert back to the formula before I put it in edit mode. Now in the top cell, I'm going to hit F2, select table array, and I'm going to copy this. Because if, in fact, we have filter, we don't have to use VLOOKUP because there's an easier way. We use the original lookup function. Our lookup value is density altitude, comma. And we're doing the bottom one, array. That means lookup table. And because it's lookup, two things are true. It automatically does approximate match lookup. And lookup only takes the value from the last column in the lookup table. So we don't have to put column two. That's our formula, close parentheses. And that's the easiest formula of all of these. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. That is looking good. Now, it's debatable. I kind of like this one. But there is another formula we can use. And this will work only in Office 365 or Excel 2019. And it comes from the fact that in our lookup table, the first column is sorted smallest to biggest. And the numbers we're trying to get are sorted biggest to smallest. So we can actually use the min ifs function. And the min range, we're going to try and get the minimum value from this column that meets the exact and approximate match conditions. F4 to lock it, comma. The criteria range, we have to look through climb speed. F4 to lock it, comma. The condition to narrow the rows down is climb speed for this row as a relative cell reference, comma. The second criteria range is density altitude, F4, comma. And we're only interested in, double quotes, the ones that are less than or equal to, double quotes. And we have to join it to the relative cell reference in this row for density altitude. And that lookup formula, close parentheses, Control Enter, and double click and send it down, will do exactly the same thing. All right, in the comments below, you got to let all of us know, is it offset, filter and VLOOKUP, filter and lookup, min ifs, or index and VLOOKUP? Which do you prefer and why? All right, if you like this video, click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to check out more about the filter function, check out this video. And if you want to learn how to do lookup from different tables that are not in a single table, check out this video. Thank you.